All right, so today I'm gonna to talk to you about our T11 photo booth, the kit that we have. If you're coming to pick it up or drop it off, this is how the kit should look when you pick it up and then also when you drop it off. So we're gonna go over the case of how the photo booth is stored, the prop bin, the printer bin, um, all the things that we need to go over. And we need to make sure that everything has its you know, unique place. And so when you're placing everything, it needs to come out and go back the exact same way. So you'll see the setup of the Pelican case that has the main shell, the photo booth. Then we have a case for the printer. And this way we can easily see if props are missing, if we need more paper, and anything that went wrong or anything like that, we can identify really quick by the kits. So I'm gonna go through every Everything, how it's set up, the bins and the backdrop and everything that you need to know when taking out this package for an event. The first step is to take out the base plate and put it approximately about 10 feet away from your backdrop. You'll see in the case, the very top will have the poles, the umbrella, tools, and then also the flash holder. Everything needs to go back in the place that it was placed with the cutouts in the right position. Next, you're gonna pull out all the poles. You'll notice one pole has the cords already in there. It's gonna be in two pieces with the power and the printer cable ran. And then a single pole is going to be for the printer shelf. After you move the foam, you will see the main parts of the photo booth. This will be the T11 white shell casing along with flashes and a backup flash. Here is the printer cable box. Each printer cable box should have a printer, a shelf, keyboard and mouse to control everything. Right here is everything that is needed for the printing of the photo booth. Paper will be kept in a separate blue bin. You should always have about three to four rolls beforehand. First step is to remove one of the poles grab the screw and the Allen head and tighten it up on the base plate. Once the first one is done, the next step is to screw in the second piece. A single pole is for the printer and the one that has two poles is gonna be for the main photo booth head. Here is the Allen screw and being able to tighten everything up. Next up is to place the photo booth in the proper position before you place the head. So you're gonna place the head and you're going to pull the wires through the bottom of the head to be able to plug in and then the power will be fed through down below. You can grab the printer shelf and place it on the pole. Once that's secure, go ahead and put the printer on the shelf and you can take the cords and plug it into the printer. From there, you wanna take out the printer catcher, so that way when everything's printed, it's being able to catch. You're gonna make sure this captures all the leftover pieces from the printing. Please make sure it's emptied before and after the start of the event. Also check that you have enough paper for your event. If the paper is getting low, feel free to switch it out for a new set of paper and ink. Every event should have extra paper, extra batteries and power. Everything that is inside the head of the booth, you should have a duplicate or a backup copy just in case. Here's what the printer box should look like or a smaller case depending on what kit you have. You will grab the flash rod holder and then you will screw it into the top of the photo booth. From there, you're gonna take the flash, place the flash on top, remove the cover. Please remember to move the cover because this can melt if you power it on and don't remove the top cover. You're gonna plug in the power from the back and then the cord that is coiled is gonna be controlling the flash that should be plugged in the hot shoe on top of the camera. From there, you're gonna to wanna to put in the umbrella into the umbrella holder, and this is facing backwards. From here on the inside, you're gonna power on the Surface Pro, take off the lens cap, and you're ready to start setting up your event. Please remember everything should go back 
in the system that we have created so the next person that takes it out is not missing anything. Here's how to set up our photo booth backdrop. You can see here it is a frame with everything being numbered and you'll have your case. Inside this case should be your cloth backdrop that you'll use for your event. The cloth backdrop will go back in the bag on top with everything being inside. So there's about four to five different sections for each part of the backdrop. Every piece is gonna be numbered and it only goes together in one way. You wanna put everything together and before you put on the top, there is a middle bar that will need to go on before you hook in the left side or right side or else it'll be too hard to get it together. You're gonna to pull the backdrop over the frame and then you'll end up zipping it at the very bottom to make sure that it is tight. Please have sandbags to put on the back side so that way it doesn't fall. Biggest thing we want to make sure that the tape is straight and in a nice clean fashion and we want to have right angles when we tape down. Once the event's done you're going to unzip the backdrop and pull it off Fold it up nicely before you place it back into the carrying case. This is everything that you should need to execute the event. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us.